What's up, y'all? Hey, man. So, if you've been following the news lately, you would know that uh, Wuthering Waves, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Wuthering, Wuthering Waves? Well, yeah, Wuthering Waves, they just dropped uh, two new videos. Um, I know a lot of people are anticipating this game, including myself, uh, along with Hankai Star Rail. But we're going to go ahead and watch these two videos together and I'm going to kind of give my uh, thoughts and reactions as uh, the game, as the video plays. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. Like, it looked like Zhang Li. Ain't gonna lie. It looked clean. The aesthetic looks kind of clean. Not gonna lie. Archetype. Okay. Y'all yeah, know who this is, but she look good. You can parkour. And you gotta grapple. Can run up walls. I like the parkour in aspects. So you got the little Genshin glider type stuff. Look at the cherry blossoms, bro. Hey, the scenery looks real nice. Showing a little bit of the combat. Hey, we seen him before, yo. He looked clean. I forgot his name, but he looked clean as hell. Is that a dragoon or something? That's a dragoon from Final Fantasy, bro. Yeah, whoever this character is, hey, I don't really do the husbandos, but this combat looks so good. Yeah, holy! You see that? Uh, did you see that switch out? Don't worry, we're gonna go back. Jesus Christ, that combat is insane, bro. See, this is why I'm excited for this game. That combat is on point. That looked too good. You're finally awake. Hey, Younger. she kind of cute. All right, so uh, let's go back and uh, uh, overview some of the things that we saw just now. All right, so we got Zhang Li in the uh, in the building. There's so many characters that look like Zhang Li from uh, Genshin Impact. You say we got Zhang Li. So the thing, so I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with y'all. I am, I'm more excited and hyped for Wuthering Waves than Honkai Star Rail. Now I'm not trying to say this ain't you know a shot at Honkai Star Rail. I'm gonna play both, but me personally, I'm more excited for Wuthering Waves. It's mainly because of the um the character designs and the open world and then the combat it's just uh more more my cup of tea like i just like the way the characters look and i like the action combat i'm sure there's a lot of people who feel the same way but yeah he looks really clean like i don't really do the husbandos like that ain't my thing obviously uh but i'm a big fan of zhang li from genshin impact he he's cool he looks kind of like zhang li the uh, dragoon dude, who we gonna see later on, he looks clean too. Yeah, that looked just like Zhang Li, bro. But yeah, we gonna kind of skip around. Where we wanna go to? Uh, we want to go right here, right here. Who this girl? Who this? She look good. Oh, we gotta get a good shot. Who is that? She got little patterns on her. She like a little Chung Lee or something going on over there. She look good. There she go again. Hold on, let's get a little. Yeah, just the designs. I don't even know what this little ball is or whatever like that. She got little patterns on her. The the character designs look really, really nice in this game. And you got the parkour. You can see you can parkour and stuff. And one up walls, or I'm sorry, run up walls. Got the little glider. Their glider is kind of clean. It's a little different than Genshin. Go back to the cherry blossoms, because I love cherry blossoms. You see this scene right there? Yeah, the little cherry blossoms and whatnot. I love those. Look at that view. This looks like a. Uh, 
Tell me I look like some Naruto stuff. That's the uh, hidden leaf, the village hidden in the leaf, the hidden leaf village or something. That looks clean. I'm liking this so far. I can't wait till this game comes out. We got some of the combat. We got some of the enemy types. See, another thing I like about this is it looks like they actually have different enemy types. Now, one of my criticisms about um, Honkai, from what I've seen, I mean, I haven't got to play. I was never, not in the beta. But a lot of the enemies are like bluish purple. And I'm just like, why do they all look the same and whatnot? I can understand if they come from the same race or something like that. But it just looks weird that all the enemies are like purplish blue, bluish purple. I like it, like having some variety to it. This enemy looks cool as hell. I don't know what that is. Some kind of ice uh, monster. And then we got our man right here. That dude is clean. That's a little dragoon dude. That dude is badass. Look at him. Watch his spear. His spear like lifts him up. Look at that. It like whirls around. That's like, bro, come on. Like, hold on. Y'all thought, now I know there's probably like some fans of like what Zhao from uh, Genshin. Man, I don't know. He kind of giving that Zhao vibes, but better with the Dragoon vibe. Look at that. That combat is too clean, bro. A ain't a lot of games gonna touch this combat. Unless you're talking like Devil May Cry, God of War type shit. That switch up. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't, we ain't gonna miss these things. Hold on, hold on. Cause we don't want to miss the small little details and whatnot. Look, look, look. Hold on. Oop, I'm sorry, I went back too far. My bad. I don't want to miss the small details. Cause there's little details in here. So they did a switch right there. See, she switched into her. I don't know who this is, but they switched into her. I think she's on the other video. I think does a little spinny attack. Yep, you did switch to her. See, she looks cool. I don't know what kind of blade that is, but it looks clean. She going crazy. Is that a dual blade? That's a dual blade, ain't it? Was that a dual blade? Or is that just her sheath? I think that's either a dual blade or her sheath. And even the main character girl, she going crazy. Is she switched in to old girl right here? Yeah, that combat is nuts. And it looked good. Like, look at the scenery. Like, all while that's going. Look at the look at the scenery. Look at all this. Look at these little flowers and stuff. Like the colors and everything. This game's going crazy. This is the game I'm most looking forward to. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And who is that? I don't know who this is, but she looked good. Damn, she looked good. I think we kind of got a glimpse of her just now. If I can kind of slow it down a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Can I slow it down? Playback. Make it a little slower so we can see. Dang, that's not slow. Hold on. Oh, this one. What am I doing? There she go. Hey, she look good. Yeah, she looks real good. The, the character designs for this game look really good, in, in my honest opinion. We're going to go back to normal speed. I just don't want y'all to miss anything. I don't know what this is. Some kind of Asian themed enemy. Is that a furry? And that's a dude. That's a dude furry. Like, I don't know what that is. But that's just unique. Y'all don't... I ain't seen nothing like that in a uh, Honkai Star Rail. Again, I'm knocking it. Just saying, like... The designs is what the designs in the combat and open world is what really stands out for this game. I don't know who this is, but she looked good. I always love the girls that have like the like it looks like they have short hair, but then they have long flowing hair and like some ponytails and whatnot. That is that design, that look is just looks so good. I always love that look. I think like Yuna from Final Fantasy had the same thing going on on uh was it Final Fantasy ten? Yeah. There go another character right there. 
There go another one. Oh, there go oh girl, we finally get a close-up of her. So it looks like she has some kind of bomb or grenade or something. Hold on, I wanna I wanna get a better view of her. Hold on. Can we get a close-up of her? There she is. See? Told you she looked good. She got like the Chung Lee vibes going on. These characters look so good. Like I'm definitely I definitely like these characters. Um, I can't wait for this game. What was that? I'm sorry, I pa I'm uh, pausing a lot, guys, but I just don't want us to miss anything. I don't know who this is, but he looked like one of them insane anime characters and stuff. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but judging his face, I'm going to assume that he's a bad guy or he's a good guy who's sacrificing himself. That's what it looks like. But the artist went ham. I got to give credit to the artist. The artist went crazy. You got Harambe in the building. They did go over this before. Apparently, you can get like the elements of some of the, uh, I don't know if it's like the enemies or basically you can get elements of certain characters or monsters throughout the game and use them to your advantage. Kind of like in Kingdom Hearts where you can like use summons and stuff like Simba and stuff like that. I think it's the same sort of vibe. Look at the characters. We ain't going to miss old girl. Look, look. Go, go to her. See? I don't know if we seen her. Did we already see her? Was that that was the girl from earlier with the dual blades and whatnot? And then you got him. Is he throwing some kind of card? Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card or something? Bro, these character designs is clean. I don't know why, like, hey, Wuthering Wuther Ways needs to be hyped up up there. Finally away. And then we got our main girl. I think that's the main protagonist girl. She looks good herself. Like a lot of the characters, like in games, the main protagonist be looking bland as hell, but she looked good. Now, what I'm wondering is if throughout the game you get, if they'll allow them to get costumes and stuff later on. I know in like Punishing Grey Raven, there were costumes and stuff like that. So I'm going to assume that they were going to have some kind of skins uh, for their characters or whatnot. But she already looks good, like uh, right off the bat. So that's the first video. Um, I'm going to go ahead. That was mainly going over like the combat from, as you can see, the closed beta test. I'm going to go over the, uh, we're going to watch the second video that they dropped, the most recent one that uh, the official site just dropped. And that's mainly going over like some of the characters, like showcasing them. The uh, closed beta is going to be coming up soon, though, for sure. Uh, I believe it's like the 20-ish, 24th, 25th, something like that. So just keep an eye on that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and watch the uh, the character showcase video real quick. 